Hello, my name is Worthy, a professional Valorant coach. If you're looking to climb the ranks and improve your overall gameplay, you definitely want to leave a like and a sub and enjoy the video. So yeah. Joe, why don't you give yourself a little introduction how long you've been doing this for and what got you started in Valorant? My name is Joe. I first started playing Valorant when it first came out and I used to play CSGO. I think that's what made me want to play Valorant because it was like CSGO, but like, you know, with abilities and everything. So it just looked like it would be something really fun. And then when I first started playing the game, I picked Breach one time and then I remember playing him. Back then there were three flashes, right? So I would like bust out people. <laughs> the hell out of people right and the people would type to me in all chat they would type to me in all chat be like joe you piece of shit they would just like say something in all chat i thought it was hilarious you know i'm just gonna say what I, I do with the builders um with my aftershock i pretty much only use to to clear corners you know like, like stuff like this people usually always play like in these little like tight little cubbies and stuff i'll use it to like like after the bomb's planted um i'll use it to uh for post plant um and I, and I used to give people off the bomb a lot if i still have it okay so here's one combo that i like to do S say they're like omen blind and they're just like rushing b main right you could actually combo breaches aftershock with this flash when you aftershock um it's like it throws a bunch of debris everywhere right it's like you can't really see for like split seconds you can't see so mm. as these like explosions are happening i'll throw my flash inside of my aftershock so that way you can't see my flash so it's like it's like a, it's like a hidden like flash okay. it, it literally it literally blinds everyone but like no one ever turns like, turns these flashes <laughs> and then as it's popping off uh, i'll flash it and then and then they're all just like trying to look through it like, like, like just trying to look through the aftershock to try and see people you know <laughs> they'll literally just like swing out and just like just start mowing everyone down you know mm. so that's a good combo that, that you can do if you want to be like aggressive and then you have my stun my stun i usually just i'll use it a lot like like right when the round starts because you know the, your stun is, is what recharges right so mm -hmm. like right when the round starts if you just want to be passive right the round starts like you start hearing people running like I, i'll just i'll just stun all this and it literally will just stop their momentum they're like rushing momentum like oh we're all stunned you know and then and then you have mm -hmm. enough time for your teammate to smoke you have enough time for your teammate to you know kind of like set up and, and, and it'll literally stop them in their tracks and then they'll like back up and stuff and then they'll have to like figure out what to do and purely for stalling like then, right? Yeah, I use it for stalling yeah. a lot. All right, so put your wall up right here. I, I want to show you real quick. Right here? Yeah, yeah, just put a wall up. So if you jump right when on the second part, see, I, I can go all the way up oh, here like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, so, and it's not only Sage's wall. I mean, it's like anything like like right here, you know? Mm -hmm. Like 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 wherever wherever you want, you could jump up like this and you could get up on top of places. Like that. And that's, that's the timing on that? You have to do it as soon as you yeah, hit all? Yeah, you have to like, you have to like, um, so... It's like after like a second, so it goes, it goes let's, and then when he says go, you jump. It says go, you jump, and then that's when like it does like the little boost. For this side, I usually always ulti A because it literally covers the entire side, right? Mm -hmm. That goes for every map. Like wherever your ulti covers the entire side, usually where you want to go. Like on Icebox, your ulti covers the entire side on it. So yeah, for this map, I would come to A and I would ulti this, and I I always aftershock this this door right here because people love running through the smoke and then like killing everyone here. I'm sure that I'm, so where do you throw it? Through my the aftershock. Main? Yeah. So I'll ulti, I'll ulti like this. And then I'll immediately pull it out and I'll throw it like this. So then like none of them can go through. And then your teammates have enough time to run up and then close the door. And they can mm -hmm. just kind of hold before they, the door closes. And then you guys should literally completely have the sight right, right past you. See that? Yeah. As long as I see the end, I was always a question that. As long as I see the end, I always get flashed by it, right? The other side. But if I'm on this side, I don't get flashed with that. So flash oh, no, it again? No, no. Yeah, it's only on the other side. Cool. Yeah. Just confirming that. Um, How far you are away from a flash is the less you'll, you'll get blinded. So if you're like really far away from a flash, throw it and you're like looking at it from really far away, it'll actually blind you for less time. Yes, yeah. uh, proximity to the it, flash. It, is that with everything? With everything it should be with everything, yes. I do believe okay. it is. I might be confusing games, but try hitting me with a yeah. flash real quick from far yeah, away. Okay. Two. That was two that's seconds. Still like pretty, still like pretty close though. Try again. One, two, three. Yeah, three yeah, seconds here, down. two seconds. Yeah, yeah two seconds short. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and it, 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 it just like keeps on going to like really, really far. So if it's like really, really far away. It'll be like a second or like half a second. It's like the same as if you like turned it or something. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Also for, for like a counter for breach too. Like if you get breach ultied, you should be bunny hopping away. Like wherever you are. Cause you, you keep the momentum when you're ultied. So like whenever an enemy breach ultis me, like like I'll literally get hit by it and it'll, it'll boost me and I'll just keep bunny hopping like like out. It, it'll ulti it and then just keep going. Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes and, sense. And you, 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 you can get away. Yeah you, yeah, you can get away. Yeah, so that, that, that always happens. And you can get it through pretty much every single wall, right? Not every single wall, but uh, but most. Like, like for example, like I can't flash refrigerator right here. I can't. Okay. Like, if, if I'm standing in main, I can't flash this. It, it's just too thick. But it has to be like a certain thickness. Like, like right, like if I'm standing right here, I can flash right here, this wall. Yeah, okay. Okay. Like, yeah, but I can't so flash it's this. Too... Yeah, it's a, little, it's a little too thick for me to flash it. But this I can flash. All right, so <laughs> here's, here's an example of me 
using my aftershock to basically um, push enemies out into the open and then flashing them to kill them. It, it's kind of similar to to the last one. So I st I stunned that guy and the aftershock. So now he has to go out in the open. So I flash him when he's out in the open. He, he was eating my aftershock. I think I've seen it before. Yeah. Were you like in the stream or something? <laughs> uh, I don't think I, I don't think I was in the stream, but I might have just watched the oh. clip. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Can you play um, this again? So I know one's left. I know one's right. So I'm stunning the guy left because I because this guy is the guy that I can aftershock him and I'm forcing him no matter what he has to run out or he's dead. And this guy on the right, if I did to the guy on the right, I wouldn't be forcing him out because he could just like run and hide this way. Yeah. This guy on the left is the one that's stuck. So I stun the guy that's stuck and I aftershock him and I'm forcing him to walk out. So he's stunned right now, after shocked. I flash it because just in case he's already, you know, coming out. And then I go for this guy first. Well, obviously, obviously he's the only one I can see first, but I would go for him first anyways, because he's not the one that's, he's not the he's one a that's threat. stunned. He's the yeah, threat. Yeah, he's the threat. He's the threat. Mm -hmm. He's not the one that's stunned or, or having in him. He, he's like a free open, what's a one, free 1v1, you know? I immediately, I could have died here if Fade was close enough pushing to me. Pushing up, yeah. Um, it was pushing up to me, but, but I just, I got my ult, I immediately just ripped it. So I, I killed that guy, got my ult, I immediately just freaking ripped onto the side and I just like hauled ass straight to sight to try and kill him. Yep. Notice how um, my ulti goes out in front of me. It goes out like, yeah. I don't know how much, like five, yeah. 10 meters in front of me. So if I would have stayed by this box and ultied and he was close, I wouldn't have hit him with my ult. Right here, so if he was running close to me, I, I would have hit him. Even if he swung out, I would have hit him right here with my ults. But, but right. if I'm standing really close to the box, I wouldn't have hit him. So he gets hit and I'm sure he's like, unless he was already over there. But if he, if he was running close, he'd be like bunny hop jumping like over over there, running over there and hit. But he was just, but he was just screwed. I just killed him, his ulti. <laughs> I, 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 I immediately aftershock the yeah, corner. Yep. That's exactly what I was thinking. Now I kill two people. It's a 5v3. Obviously, you know, I'm going to... Nah, I'm just going to chill. You, so. you might almost have to, though, because I'm worried that Brim's going to ulti here. Oh, no, he does. But I, I do ulti, though. Oh, man. Scary sitting here. With that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, you know. I, I survived. <laughs> I survived, though. <laughs> see, see, I know... See, I'm, see, I'm walking all the way up here because I, I know I'm, I know no one's close because I, I see my... See, let me look at my map yeah. all the time. I'm always staring at my map. I know no one's U-Haul because look at my teammate watching the cross. See, my teammate you can see the on the right map here. how far in front of it, uh, yeah. in front of you it is too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. See, see this. See how far it is in front of me. This is where the ulti starts. So anyone that's that's this close to me is not gonna get hit by my, by my ult. This is the importance of looking at the mini map and seeing the vision cones yeah. as well. I talk about this a lot too. In a team environment. The responsibility is on the jet to be calling, I have eyes on this, right? Yeah. So that you're constantly in understanding of what people are looking at, right? So in a ranked environment where you don't have all these comms, the minimap, you can literally play off of that. You don't need comms to be able to make it work. Definitely. You need to help yourself as much as possible. The most you can do to, to get info for yourself, because there's always going to be people that don't have mics. I mean, even if I'm playing like top 500, top 400 radiant, like there's always people that are just like, like no mic, just running around. Like that happens all the time. You know, so it's like you need to help yourself as much as possible when you can. And then, so I heard, I heard this guy dash up. I know, I know Brim's here. I know Jet's here, and I know Fade's here. So I know where, at, where I know where their whole team's at. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting until they walk up closer before I actually do something. Because if I ultied, if I ultied now, like like before Jet dashed up, it wouldn't have really done anything because they could just hide. Like like they could just go out and hide. I'm, like we're not in position to really kill them yet. You know, like they're not out in the mm -hmm. open close enough to us. All right. So I jump. This guy dashes, and I know he's like right here. So I know he's like literally right in the open for us. So I ulti him. I hear him. He's right here. You guys hear his Here's footsteps? Here's the drop, yeah. And I heard Brimstone's here. I heard the drop. So I, so I just played cross for, for the jet right here. Killed him. And now I'm just... Brimstone's at 120. And then he said 120, so I'm literally just post up on him. I got, I got three kills. I want one more, you know? So for, for everyone in chat, I would probably the best move here. He's got two seconds away from his fault line, so you can just use that. So I flash for Gavin. Gavin dashes in. Flashback sight. So usually, what? Why I always done this? Usually, when I flashback sight, they usually they always back run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll back up or they'll run this way towards log. Usually, we'll smoke um, garage and we'll smoke this right. And that's usually people they, they, they like to run through garage or they'll um, sit in this corner right here. So I'm literally stunning like like this whole line for Gavin. So I'll flashback sight. He'll be tucked here or running over here, and I'll stun like anyone that's in this cubby right here. I'll stun all of logs and and anyone that's trying to run out CT. So this is like the best stun you could possibly do. You let someone else take it. Oh, yeah. You ignore yeah. Sage and you focus on the other person. Like, oh wow, yeah, it's covered it, by it, sky. His teammates, his teammates in the way. Wow. Yeah, his teammates in the way. <laughs> oh yep. my goodness. And he's done Can't for. Can't see anything. I'm blind. Mm. Can't see anything. I'm blind. Look at him. Damn. Just aware, bro. They're just aware. I don't know. Aware, I don't know. Dude, Probably accuses dude. me of stream sniping. This is my radio makeup. Nice. No, Gavin already like knows that. Gavin already like knows what I'm doing. Yeah, you guys just play together so much. 
I love that you ignore that person. <laughs> I actually love that you ignore that person. And then what happens? Look, they all autopilot run long. Look at them. They're all autopilot just running B to B. Yeah, B. <laughs> they all just run B. <laughs> And then what happened? Like instantly, like, like they're not even thinking. Like, they, like this is what happens. Like they're not even thinking. Like they just instantly think to run B. Like they got the short on A. All right, yeah. let's go B. Like, this happens you know? at all ranks. All the time, all the time. And then boom, look, look at them. That's crazy. Right? <laughs> oh, that's crazy, right? <laughs> look at them. Look at them typing. Question mark. Who calls that LMFAO? Everyone. They, Everyone. The game. Everyone calls so, that. So as breach, like. You really are like the like the brains behind the operation. Like you need to be like the brains behind behind everything. You're not just like you're not just like a jet or arena that kind of just like like runs around and just shoots people. But like you actually have to coordinate and make plays. Um, that's why honestly I feel like Breach is one of the probably one of the more harder agents to play than than the other than the other agents because you have to if you actually really want to be good with this character you have to really work like communicate really well with your teammates and really like. Um, be aware, like, said, like, like really, really be the yeah, be aware of, of everything that's going on, and really like be the brains making calls first step because you're the one that has the util for your teammate. Well, I want to just uh, end this off thoughtfully by saying thank you so much for spending time with us and teaching or us all this stuff.